Hi everybody, welcome to The Pagan Perspective. My name is Angel and I'm your Friday host. And this week we're talking about natural versus synthetic. Okay, so I'm going to sort of paraphrase. I'll put the full question down below. I uh, was wondering what everyone's opinions are on <clears throat> the use of natural versus synthetic materials in charms, spells, etc. Like gemstones are, for example, man-made, altered, so I'm told, still have their uh, different properties, healing, cleansing, and such. I've been having some seriously conflicting thoughts lately regarding this topic as I'm practicing natural green witchcraft and have always had the belief that magic is in nature. Therefore, things that do not occur naturally in our world are not magical. I'm hoping for some different thoughts. Um, there are people who are pretty Puritan when it comes to... Um, sorry, I gotta... Uh, um, pretty, uh, pretty much like Puritans when it comes to this as far as using uh, very natural things in their practice. And there are other people who prefer them but are fine with using synthetic in certain situations and some people who really don't care. And I don't mean don't care in a very whatever, just they find a way to where those synthetic materials do play into their magic. And I'm one of those people. Um, <clears throat> for me, a lot of times things, whether they're synthetic or not, represent certain things. Um, for instance, um, dream catchers, they don't pop out of the ground. Um, they don't grow from trees. They do have natural components to them, but they also have not natural components to them. And man puts them together to create something spiritual. The same goes with statues, candles, athames, cups or goblets. Um, lots of different things like that. Bissums. I mean, they are natural, but they don't pop out of the ground. So man puts them together. If we believe we're from the divine or that we have a divine within us, then what we create is magical, whether it's synthetic or natural. Um, that's my how I think about it. <clears throat> I do charm bags and spell bags and they're made out of felt which is not grown on trees. It's, it is synthetic but it is the colors I pick specifically for specific spells and, and charms and the ribbon that I use is also synthetic but I pick colors and, and things like that that represent what I'm working with. So it, there's nothing wrong being natural and using everything natural if you can. Um, living green, as green as you can, is awesome. And I suggest everybody try to do it as much as you can. Some people don't have the opportunity to do that, whether it's where they live or their finances. <clears throat> um, but there's nothing wrong with synthetic either. Like I said, I, I believe we're from the divine and what we create is magic. We put our magic into things. So if I get a stone that is not an actual rough crystal that just grew out of the earth, something that was grown in a lab, when I cleanse it and I consecrate it, it is magic. It, it holds magic and it has say if it's red we'll say and i'm using it for self-love or more passion in my marriage or something to that effect or a major change you know like instant change um if it's red it represents that it, it holds that energy no matter what it's made out of so <clears throat> There's two different ways of, well, there's several different ways of thinking about it. But I see nothing wrong with using synthetic materials. Nothing at all. If you internally, because you said that you're conflicted with these, 
if if you truly feel that you're a green witch and you do not want to use synthetic materials and it really bothers you to do it then don't do it don't don't do it and there's nothing wrong with it but don't feel that just because it's synthetic it's not magic and that you can't use it in your practice because you can <clears throat> anyways that's my <laughs> I don't really have too much to say about on, on the subject it is just kind of what it is you either are okay with it or you're not and either way there's there's nothing wrong with it your magic is your magic but <clears throat> There is nothing wrong with synthetic materials. Like I said, I use felt, ribbon, candles, um, you know, what else? Is I, my 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 altar statues. Um, I have a cauldron that's brass. Um, I know that there are things that come from the earth that are made in all these things, <clears throat> but they are made. They aren't made naturally. They don't just appear into a cauldron out of the earth. You don't just go into a field and pick cauldrons. So that's what I think of natural is something that you just go out and pick it up and it's there. It just grew out or however it grew or sprouted or whatever. Um, most of the stuff that I have isn't natural. It is synthetic and I don't see a problem with that. Right now my Book of Shadows is a three ring binder. <clears throat> I'm constantly changing it. That's completely synthetic, but it's still my magic. It still holds magic. It holds energy. So anyways, that's my spiel on that. I hope it helped give you a different way of thinking. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer. And as usual, thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a wonderful rest of the week and blessed be. Bye.